Okay, and this What is Wednesday, I'm going to be fulfilling a much requested topic. Uh, so before you uh, say that this is an advertisement for my new series, which it uh, I will be mentioning, it's certainly something that a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, this video is What is Vue.js? Now, Vue.js is a new-ish uh, JavaScript framework. Now, it says it's the progressive JavaScript framework. Now, at the end of the day, uh, what a JavaScript framework is in this sort of regard is just some way to add interactivity to your page, right? Whether it's just plain JavaScript or you're using a framework like Angular or React or Vue, or you're using a library like jQuery, at the end of the day, it's all for building interactivity into your websites. And with Vue.js, you could drop in uh, Vue to a single div and add this interactivity or you could build your entire application view just like you would react or angular or anything like that uh, so what Vue.js does is it takes some ideas from all of the other sort of modern JS frameworks and sort of combines them into a really nice uh, modern mix of different types of ideas. For instance, we have the view sort of template here where you have sort of handlebar style template tags. And this isn't necessarily JSX and it's not JavaScript and it's not HTML. It's sort of its own thing, right? And if you come from Angular land, the templates in Vue are going to seem more familiar. Now, we also have this sort of style where we have an export default object where we have things like our data or computed properties or lifecycle hooks. Now, at the end of the day, Vue.js is really just a way to build applications or websites in JavaScript. And fans of React and Angular will both find things here that they find familiar or uh, like in particular. For instance, uh, people who used Angular version 1 will find things like the NG4 uh, very sort of uh, analogous to the way that Vue handles for loops. Uh, let me go ahead and find my movies list. You can see that we have essentially a V4, right? Which is V4 movie in movies. This is going to feel very at home for Angular people. And just like that, we also have components with props. So if you're used to React, those of you who are used to components-based workflows using props will also find things that they find very familiar. Passing in a prop to a component is a little bit different, but the ideas are the exact same. So you can see examples of some view code here. We have our template, which has our HTML and what are called directives, again, from Angular folks will feel very comfortable with this. And then we have things like components. Next, we have our JavaScript part of our view file where we can import things from uh, other components. We can set our data. We can have lifecycle methods. We can have methods that are triggered via actions or via lifecycle methods and stuff like that. We can have our components that we're using, and we can even have things like computed properties that give us access to template tags that are really just pretty much anything you want, whether it's modifying props or data in your component or just simply outputting something new. Now, one of the other cool things about Vue is the way it handles CSS. You basically have your style tags inside of each of your files and you can scope them directly on your style tag. So for instance, this style tag, even though we're not attaching this UL to anything specific, we're not saying, hey, this is a particular class, we are saying this is scoped to this file. And that means that, hey, if I use an unordered list anywhere else in my application, it's not going to get these styles. But if I use an unordered list inside of this component, which I do, it's going to get the styles that are scoped directly here. So there's a lot of really nice built-in goodies here. And that's the thing I really like about Vue.js is it really actually takes care of so many things for you that other frameworks make you do yourself. Now, if you're the type of person who likes to do everything yourself and have everything super explicit, you might not love Vue. But if you're the type that likes to save time and actually, uh, you know, spend a lot of time making things rather than uh, writing a lot of boilerplate code and stuff like that, then you're going to definitely like a lot of aspects of Vue. Now, Vue.js was originally created by Evan Yu as a way to sort of be a modern, accessible JavaScript framework, something that you could get up and running with quickly, get some real results, but also maintain a lot of the things that people really liked about the modern JS framework. 
frameworks. And again, this component-based workflow is going to make anyone who's used anything like React feel very at home. So if you're interested in learning more about Vue.js, you can come to Vue.js.org. You can watch this little Y view. You can click Get Started. Um, one of the things I love about Vue is their documentation, their API, their cookbook. All of this stuff is excellent. And on top of that, uh, I found their ecosystem part of their site to be extremely valuable too. I went on the chat room to solve a problem I was having. And uh, in the Discord room there, there was a lot of people ready to jump and help solve my problem, even though I was obviously a beginner at Vue. Uh, so definitely the community seemed very, very open and uh, definitely the type of community that you'd want to have around a project like this. So if you want to learn more about Vue, head over to Vue.js.org. Again, the documentation, everything is excellent. If you want to learn how to build applications in Vue.js, uh, this is the part where my uh, little advertisement comes in. So you can probably probably just skip this part if you're not interested. Uh, but if you want to learn Vue.js from the ground up, head to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store. Vue.js for everyone is a full on tutorial series of 24 videos long that will teach you how to build real applications in Vue.js. We do all sorts of stuff from just understanding the basics and foundational concepts behind Vue, but also hitting an API, doing routing, doing some animations, and just really understanding how to build applications. By the end of this course, you're going to feel like you can build a full on web application in Vue and at least know where to go if there's additional things you need to pick up. So check it out. Uh, if you want to learn Vue.js, I highly recommend Vue.js for everyone. It is currently on sale and only for the month of April here. Come May, this price is going back up. And if you're watching this video in May of 2018, don't worry, it will go on sale again. Uh, I just don't know when yet. So take advantage of this limited time pricing, get this thing for 29 bucks and start learning Vue. You're going to be seriously amazed at just how productive you can be with Vue.js. Now I have a few preview videos. I think the first five videos of the series are going to be released on the YouTube channel. So keep your eyes open for that. That may happen as soon as this Friday. So again, Vue.js is a modern JavaScript framework. It's a way that you can add interactivity to your pages, but it's also a way that you can build full on JavaScript apps with everything from routing to animations to all sorts of that good stuff. So head on over to Vue.js.org, learn more about this and try out Vue, right? One of my favorite things about web development and all these different frameworks, people want to, to claim and say there's too many frameworks or whatever like that. Well, every single time a new framework comes out, it gives you a different idea about how to do things. So if you're a React developer, an Angular developer or anything, I highly recommend trying out Vue just to give yourself a different perspective. And who knows, you might even be a little bit more productive with it, or you might not. So again, check it out. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.